Hello team, welcome back. And we was discussing about the metric types in Prometheus. In the previous lecture, we discussed about the counter matrix and the gaze metric. But we have two more metrics available in the Prometheus. And these are the histogram matrix and the summary matrix. The counter metric and the gaze metric are quite simple. And the calculation of these metrics are easy to analyze. But whenever you need to calculate the relatable data, whenever you need to calculate the median data or the quantile data, or you need to calculate a time series data, in that case, whether the complex calculation will be in place, you need to use the histogram and summary matrix. Let's see what is the summary metric and histogram metric and what kind of metric data we can calculate with these metrics. First, we will discuss about the summary metric. Summary metric basically is used to calculate the average of something. With the help of the summary metric, you can calculate the quantile over a sliding time window. The summary metric provides the distribution of the values, including the quantiles and some of the observations as well. So what does it mean? It means that with the help of the summary metric, you can calculate the data over certain percentile that how many requests are behind the certain percentile and how many requests are in between of the certain percentile. The quantile or the percentile show the value below which the certain percentage of the observation fall. In the summary metric, you will get the three component, the count, sum and quantile. Count is the number of time that event has occurred and it has exported as a base matrix name underscore count. Similarly, sum is the total size of the events. Count is just showing the number of time event has occurred, right? But the sum is showing the total size of the event. If you get confused with the terminology, don't worry, we will explain this with an example, but try to understand the basic component of the summary metric. One is the count, which is showing the number of time that event has occurred. And we have the sum, which is showing the total size of the events. And then we have the quantile. Quantile is a value which is representing a specific percentile like the 15th percentile, 19th percentile, 14th percentile, 100th percentile like this. Let's understand the summary metric with an example. So let's suppose you want to calculate the HTTP request latency summary metric that what is the latency you are getting in the certain HTTP request. So you are using the base matrix like the HTTP request duration second, which will tell you the HTTP request duration in the second. And the type is like this HTTP request duration summary and the metric type is summary. If you will use the summary metric over the HTTP request latency, then you will get a data like this HTTP request duration second quantile 0.5. Then you are getting a certain number. Same metric on a quantile 0.9. You are getting a certain number and same request on a quantile of 0.99 and you are getting a certain request. Now you are getting the sum is 10.8 and you are getting that the total count is 2433. So what summary you are getting with this particular metric? The summary is there are total requests 2433 and the total time in which these requests served is 10.862. In 10.862 second, you have served almost 2433 request. Now we are getting the different different quantile. It means the 50th median or the 50th percentile request got served in the 0 0.043 second and 90th percentile request got served in the 0 0.056 second and 99th percentile request got served in the 0 0.072 second. So you are getting the overall summary of the HTTP request latency that the 50th percentile request got served in 0 0.043 second only. And you are getting that total 90th percentile request got served in 0 0.056 second and, and only 0.10 percentile request getting served after the 0 0.056 second. So this kind of summary you will get with the help of the summary matrix over here. The HTTP request duration in second is the summary of the metric of HTTP request latencies and quantile label are represent the different percentiles. The HTTP request second sum is defining the sum of all observed latency in total number of requests and the count is defining the total number of observation or total number of request. So now you can see that in compared to the gaze or the counter, the summary metric is different. And with the help of the summary metric, you can basically get the complex calculation 
data or complex calculation matrix similarly the next metric is the histogram metric like the summary metric provide the average histogram metric provide the similar data in the buckets right histogram metric is used to calculate the distribution of the values in buckets so in the summary we was getting average line the percentile or the quantile or the median but in the histogram you will get the buckets 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 right you can divide your things in the bucket and then you can calculate or distribute the values in these buckets so it means the histogram provides insight into how data is distributed across the various value range let's suppose you are providing a public api and you want to calculate the response time in between 0.001 to 0.01 second 0.01 second to 0.02 second 0.02 second to 0.05 second and so on right so with the help of the histogram matrix if you will calculate the histogram matrix over your data you will get the definite number of response which is getting served in different different time frame or different different bucket which you have defined in your histogram matrix histogram matrix are useful in understanding the distribution of latencies or other responses in time matrix right this will again provide the three things the count sum and bucket values count is same as in the summary the total number of observation in each bucket sum is the sum of all observed values in each bucket and bucket value is the upper bound of each bucket range let me make it very clear this is the upper bound we are not getting the lower bound right if you are defining the bucket value 0.5 it will contain the value from 0 to 0.5 let's see the example of the histogram matrix so in this example we are basically calculating the database query response in histogram time matrix the metric name is db query response time in seconds which will define the histogram of database query response time in second and the value will look like this over here we are getting the db query response time in the different different bucket and first bucket we are calculating in the upper limit 0.1 second bucket upper limit is 1 and third bucket upper limit is 10 and in the last two lines we are getting the response time second sum and count total 550 request is basically processed with this particular metric and the sum of all these request is 278.53 out of them only 15 request got served in 0 to 0.1 second and 120 request got served in 0 to 1 second and 400 request got served in 0 to 10 second and rest 150 request got served after the 10 second it means the response time is more than 10 second so using this particular metric you can basically distribute your data in the buckets that what is the distribution of the request or my value against the defined bucket so over here the db query response time in second is the histogram metric for the database query response time we have the bucket values which is representing the time ranges then we have the sum which is basically the sum of all observed uh, response times and then we have the count which is basically the count of total observation so we have discussed about the summary metric and the histogram metric believe me the summary metric and the histogram metric are the crucial metrics they will help you to analyze the system behavior and the performance in prometheus right it will provide you the insight into how the data is distributed and help you the capacity planning and the troubleshooting of your application against the traffic so this is all about the metric type we have discussed all four metric type available in the prometheus counter gauge summary and histogram thank you team see you next time